All right, this is the Azeron Classic. Can't read it right, but like that. There we go. Um, it is a gamepad with over 20 individual programmable keys. Uh, I'll go over it really quick. There is a profile button right here. Okay. Uh, so you can store two profiles on it. Uh, this is a full analog thumbstick. Uh, it's got full analog capabilities plus, plus the uh, push-in. This is a hat that goes four ways plus a push-in. Uh, you've got a thumb button back here. And then this is the, the main component. Uh, if you look at the setup here, they've got button push down, back, and forward. And so when your hand sits in it like that, it's actually pretty nice. That way, these buttons are a little more awkward to uh, to push. These ones aren't so bad. They, they seem really high, but it, I get used to it pretty easily, I think. Uh, and then the index finger also has a push to the side. Uh, if you look at the bottom, all of these are fully adjustable so that you can change how wide the fingers are spread, um, how far up or back they go. The, analog section can pull out this way. Uh, you can change the angle uh, of this whole setup as well, so it's it's quite customizable. Uh, the software looks like this. Uh, you can set up those profiles, and then uh, you see it's, it's, it's a very, very simple interface. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I didn't have to learn anything or read anything. It was, it was pretty intuitive that way. Uh, the interesting thing is the analog stick here, if I fiddle around with it, this analog stick can be adjusted. You can choose, for some reason, an Xbox 360 analog stick, a regular analog joystick, I don't know what the difference is, between the two, and then you can have it uh, be more like a four-way hat uh, keyboard press. You can change the angle, the angle being, for example, if... Uh, if I consider this to be up, or if, you know, for your hand, this is up for you, you can change it so that it registers in the proper direction for how your hand, how your thumb handles it. Uh, you can change the dead zones and the sensitivities uh, so that you can only push all the way and it registers, or a very slight directional tilt and it registers, things like that. So, pretty, pretty customizable. Uh, it, it feels really nice. It just it fits my hand very nicely. Um, obviously, with uh, all the adjustments and everything, it took me a little bit of getting used to in my first game, but uh, I think in the end, I'm I'm not going to have any problems.